What is happening? I am Minnesota Vikings Man 28, and today we're going to be previewing the Tennessee Titans versus the Minnesota Vikings and seeing if the Vikings will go 0-3, which is actually most likely at this point right now because the Vikings, for some reason, just don't want to try anymore. Um, I, there's no fight in them. Um, I could go on a whole rant about it, but, you know, we're going to focus on these three key matchups and, you know, keep our head high for a little bit. Key matchup number one is Derrick Henry versus Eric Hendricks. We know Derrick Henry is their offense. He is the main man. Um, he will run it down your throat. Um, the Titans, how their offense works, long drives with a lot of running. Um, you know, Henry is very hard to take down. We're definitely not going to have Barr. I was going to put Barr here um, before the season, mostly because, you know, Henry's not really uh, receiving back, but, you know, can't put him, so I have to put Eric Hendricks. Um, Eric Hendricks is more of the pass uh, coverage linebacker, but he also can stop the run, too. Um, but, yeah, Derek Henry, King Henry, um, I think he will have a monster day if the Vikings want to win this game. They need to limit him. Um, Maybe to what he did in Jacksonville, even though, you know, technically that's still a lot of yards. I think it was like 80-something yards. Even then, you know, it at least keeps you in the game and prevents those long drives by the Titans. Next um, is the other running back matchup. We got Jadavian Clowney and Dalvin Cook. Um, D Dalvin Cook, of course, lifeblood of our offense, and uh, we need to feed him more. Even if we're down, we need to keep feeding him because eventually he's going to break one off, and, the, you know, that can be a momentum shift. When we're, For example, when we were 21 down against the Green Bay Packers uh, last season, um, you know, or was it last season? Yeah, it was last season. Um, Dalvin Cook... Uh, broke one off and, you know, changed the momentum. We kept running the ball more and, um, you know, we were doing good until Kirk Cousins threw it into double coverage when we lost lost the game and the comeback did not happen. So Dalvin Cook, very, very important um, to our offense in both in the run game and the pass game. Um, we need to do what the Titans want to do against us is just run it down their throats. So, um, against Javen Clowney, uh, great, <laughs> great defensive man. Um, you know, it's been, been some places now. Uh, this is his third, third team, you know, Texans, then it was the Seahawks, then the Titans. He is still, he is still dominating. So I expect him um, to be a factor, really, you know, one of the only factors on the defense, in, in my opinion, um, I mean, they have good corners as well, but, like, um, I'm looking at the injury report, let me see, Malcolm Butler, you know, might not play, so that's why I'm saying only, um, injure, in major, I mean, major play, player on the defense that to worry about, and then finally, it's, we're not even doing a Tennessee Titan one, um, we're doing Kirk Cousins, well, good Kirk versus bad Kirk. On the left, you see Kirk Cousins playing against the Saints. Well, this is not, uh, the picture on the left is actually a, the preseason, I think, preseason game because, I mean, he doesn't have the, uh, purp all purple, uh, but you get the point. Against the Saints and bad Kirk, um, when he, the Bears week 17. Um, yeah, Kirk Cousins, he needs to step it up. I mean... You know, you got other wide receivers in Thielen. Um, you need to, you just need to be more accurate. And, you know, that's all I really can say. Um, he, he doesn't, I don't know, I don't know what it is. Uh, offense line, of course, is somewhat of a factor. But, you know, just, just give some other people a chance um, and don't force it. 
most importantly, do not force it because we don't want interceptions. We do not want interceptions. So, I mean, what can I say? You know, if good Kirk shows up, we have a chance to win. If bad Kirk shows up, no way in hell we're going to win. So that is it for the three key matchups. What do you think down in the comments below? Any key matchups that I missed? This has been Miss Vikings Man 28, and as always, Skull.